my love so this is the very first minute of the very first vlog um, from Handmade Dorset based down in Dorset we're a stationery company a happy eco-friendly stationery company and I've been wanting to do a vlog for a very long time but I was waiting until I was five stone lighter and prettier and had nice hair and obviously that's not going to happen so I was just deciding <laughs> you know what let's do it I've got loads to share and I'm sure you'd like to see my products my process and um, just what it's like running a small handmade stationery business day to day so let's get into the vlog shall we for those of you not familiar with the business here's a little sample of some of the things I make cards prints stickers washi tape and enamel pins one of the other reasons that was putting me off doing this was my um, technical skills. I'm so, so rubbish compared to so many other people that are doing vlogs and things like that. Um, it's going to take me a long time to edit things. So I'm thinking I might not actually edit them. I might just stick them all together and <laughs> hopefully it won't be too bad. And you'll be able to just kind of have it on in the background and, and just sift through what you want to watch and stuff. And, you know, as I go on, I'm going to learn stuff and maybe even get some equipment and things. Um, I was watching a blog the other day and someone was making a cup of coffee and it literally, you know, that's like a 30 second bit in their whole vlog of, of half an hour. And it took them about seven shots just to show making a cup of coffee. And I was like, first of all, horror, I'm going to have to clean the kitchen. You <laughs> know, in order for you to come in there and watch me making a cup of coffee which you know I probably will do but I don't drink coffee by the way but also um that having all those angles and just thinking about those angles and how do you put the camera here and put the camera there and then don't even start me on like things that pop up on the screen you know the little cute words and cute graphics and stuff like that sorry I wobble on over the place because I haven't got anything to stand you up on so I'm holding you with my other hand I'm so professional uh, and then and then of course there's the music you know the music that they have kind of playing in the background now to be honest some information here which which you'll probably hear lots of times but I'm autistic and sometimes background music just makes it really hard for me to actually hear what the person's saying or even to focus on what the person is doing even if they're not actually speaking it's really hard for an autistic person to understand those levels of sound so sometimes background music actually gets a bit on my tits so I might not even put background music on my videos okay so just quickly something else that would put me off was um putting on makeup or my false eyelashes or uh you know worrying about what i'm wearing and how my hair is so if i had to do all those things i would never actually get around to making the vlog and i was just like you know what why don't i make this as a kind of space where I'm celebrating who we are exactly as we are. And I'm all for doing all the fancy things if that's what you want to do, if it makes you happy. Absolutely. I love getting dressed up for special things, weddings and stuff like that. But <sighs> wouldn't it be good if we could just be exactly who we blooming are? Not actually. Anyway, don't even start me on that. That's one of the reasons as well. So what I'm saying to you also is if there's other makers out there that are putting off doing a vlog... I mean, you might be put off more once you've seen this, but if not, then um, because of those reasons, just do it. Please, let's just have a whole big thing of, you know, fat, ugly people. I'm not being negative. I'm being positive there. I'm just saying not everyone's attractive. Not everyone's beautiful. And that is absolutely fine. And we're worthy anyway. You don't need to be beautiful or pretty to be worthy of anything. And you don't need to be slim to be worthy. You don't need to be fat to be worthy, etc. Don't get me started. I'm not going to go on that bandwagon, but let's just be ourselves and let's celebrate that you know and you don't have to watch me if it's <laughs> if it's horrific to you scroll on just turn it off mate okay i'm going to show you my studio space in just a minute which is tiny tiny and i do need to tidy up just a little bit before you see it and then um maybe we'll talk a little bit about the products and this will probably it, be it i don't really want to make it more than 15 minutes long So would you believe it? Shortly after I filmed the other two little bits of video, um, my printer died. Absolutely flat on her face. Absolutely gutted. She has been working like a workhorse though for the whole three years I've had her. But um, obviously chaos ensued and I've had to sort that out. So my space is still an absolute tip. I will show you now what it looks like. I'm trying to sort it out ready. <laughs> but the printer is bigger than the space I have for it. 
This is my old one that died. Bless her. Lexmark CS 820C. But you know, they don't last forever, do they? Big bird for his album started moving it about. Oh, Ooh, look at the size of that one. It's a strange little thing, isn't it? The big boy. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Okay. It didn't feel very heavy. And they're in. Morning guys, it's the next morning and um I pretty much woke up at the crack of dawn at five something because I was stressing about this printer, not getting it working properly. And also every time it prints, it prints the starter page first with a load of information on it. And obviously if I'm doing custom cards and printing one order at a time, I can't have every other sheet be this startup page being totally wasted. Ooh. So um, I'm just looking online to see if there's any sort of drivers or support or da 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 that I'm just not getting. It might just be something that's not computing and uh, I might be able to sort it. Fingers crossed. So lovely, it's about half four at the end of a very long day um, sorting out the studio. I have managed to do a couple of orders tonight even though I actually did cry about my new printer because I couldn't get it to work and there's still some stuff that I haven't sorted on it. I can't connect to the internet and stuff like that but uh, I'm fixing it with USB at the minute but anyway as long as I get some orders out, because I get very stressed when I don't complete my orders as soon as I possibly can. I did extend my shipping times to three to five days. I normally have it one to two days uh, just to give me a little bit of leeway. But still, and none of them need to go out for tomorrow. Actually, one lady I did say to her they would. There were some uh, birth announcement ones that she's very excited about. So she wants to get them out as soon as possible this weekend. But <sighs> I'm uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, no, not tomorrow. I can't do it tomorrow. I'm taking my daughter um and her son to the hospital so friday we will do a studio tour and uh even though it's not actually finished yet quick squeeze around now there's the beast in the corner i've lost loads of room so some of this stuff down here that uh is normally all underneath where the new printer now is anyway all right catch up tomorrow Just checking these against the orders because some of them have got pretty unusual smell spellings for me so i need to make double double sure i've done it perfectly especially as i'm dyslexic <laughs> so you just never know it's always good to double check are they cute <laughs> Really sweet. Just trying to kind of organize my day. Printer's still not well, I've just about got her working, but it's, <laughs> it's not really right. Um I'm just, oh, hang on, let me just turn you around. Nothing beats a nice cup of char. Um, yeah, so there were issues with the printer. Um, I've just about got it running as, as far as I know. I, I said that last time and then it went a bit. Anyway, so that's that. Um, I'm just making a list for my to-do today. I'm waiting on some more furniture to come. So I'm still not doing the studio tour because nothing's in its home yet. But... Uh, Today I'm doing some editing of photographs of some new stock that I've got, that I've created and I need to do a blog post because I probably haven't done one for about two months and I just want to check my sign up email to make sure it's still current because I can't remember what it looks like because obviously I don't actually see that. That's kind of to do today.
very exciting and also I've just had to edit the artwork for an enamel pin I've just sent off to be made it's the little kitty one in the cup if anybody's seen it on my social media because I'd made a bit of a boob with its tail it was sticking out and so they'd have to infill it with some extra bit of metal and it just looked a bit clunky so now I've changed it I'll, I'll give you a picture of that as well in a minute um and I've just sent that off so that's that so let's get on with it so here's my little sticker version of the cat in a teacup. I don't know whether to call her a cappuccino or a coffee cat. I'm not sure. But it'd be teacup, really, to be fair. But anyway, um, so many of you said, yes, make her into enamel pins. So that's what I did. But she's so adorable. Okay, so here's how it used to look. There was a gap between the head and the tail. And so they would need to fill that in with some, um, like, recessed metal. Uh, and I'd forgotten all about that when I actually sent it off and designed it for them but this is the updated version where I've closed the gap between the head and the tail so hopefully you know that it just looked nicer when it's come through what's so exciting about these now is that they're on a really pucker um, sticker paper so that they're they call them weatherproof but I have actually put them in the dishwasher and um, on a actually just a takeaway tub you know one of those plastic tubs and it was absolutely fine so Fingers crossed you'll be able to use them on water bottles and stuff like that. I need to obviously try it a few times in the dishwasher to see how it, how resilient it is to all the water. But yeah, cute for your lunchbox or your water bottle. But also obviously laptops and, I don't know, guitars or whatever, however you want to use your stickers. I always try to write my to-do list down on paper. Something about holding the pen, writing it out. Uh, tends to make things stick in my mind a bit more. I just find it easier to read as well on pen and paper rather than on the screen. The thing is with a screen or a computer, you know, if you've got files and files and files within files and within files, I can never find anything. But if you give me a book, a planner, a sketchbook, I tend to be able to find what I need quite quickly. Okay, so here I'm just writing about some different bits and bobs I need to do listing things on the website and on Etsy, etc. Like many small businesses, I tend to spend a gazillion hours in front of a computer screen editing, listing, more editing, more listing. <laughs> this is me editing some photographs of products. Little tea break in the garden with my brunch. decant these cards into here. I absolutely love a bit of organising. Here I'm thinking about the washi tapes, the washi designs that I sent off for this week and later on in the vlog I'll show you the designs that I decided on in the end. I'd already done some drawings in my iPad but I was just trying to kind of really get final because obviously I'd like to send a thousand of them off. <laughs> But I just need to be kind of sensible and just choose three or four at a time because that's what money allows, really. Um, and I don't want to go crazy. I want to see what the need is first and see what people think of them. I didn't go with this Robin design in the end. Maybe I should have done. Oh, well, 
Yikes. Hi lovely, so it's been a bit of a bonkers week. Um, it's now Tuesday of the following week and uh, it's still not sorted, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna show you the space anyway and it'll be an evolving thing anyway, so you'll see it as it kind of grows. Um, but I just thought I'd let you know where we are right now. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you bits and bobs. Okay, so walking into the studio. This is the little tiny space. This is actually kind of an accidental studio because very sadly, my father-in-law was supposed to be living in this room, living with us. Um, he only got to come down for a couple of weeks and then he passed away. So he didn't get to use the space, but we decided to use it for a really constructive space. And um, he was always super encouraging about my work, but about me in general, really. He was one of the really sweetest person who always was really, really positive And he thought the sun shone out my backside. <laughs> So uh, it was really nice to have that energy around. So we know he'd be super happy with the use of the room. Anyway, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so just on the left wall here, we've got a couple of shelves um, that we've got the stickers on. I did actually buy another shelf to pop here. Turns out I bought the wrong one. IKEA do quite a lot of those shelves apparently, didn't know. Here's my cutter and here's the Canon Pixmar machine, which I'm sure a lot of other makers will have one of those at home. She's a bit of a beast and very heavy, but she really does the job well. Packing materials, compostable, eco, poly bags, some supplies. And supplies, and supplies, and supplies. Um, my beautiful pins there. Washi tapes, the envelopes that I use. This is the new baby in the room. <laughs> Isn't she cute? I just need to buy her a really sweet pot, which means probably supporting another maker if I can get my hands on them. Uh, it's my little thank you bookmarks that I send to people when they order. Obviously my desk, my Mac, and I'm hoping, on brand pad, I'm hoping to put artworks or shelves up there if I can at some point. These are the tags that I have cut that I like to give people um, as little freebies if I can. I can't always do it, but I try and do it if I can. Drawers for my sticker paper and tapes and things like that. There's some of the packing materials under my desk that I've kind of had to squeeze in. Oh, this is my little bargain thing. Well, it was £26, which isn't that much of a bargain for a piece of plastic, but, and it is plastic, like I say. You might have seen the video of me making it. I might have squeezed that into this vlog. But isn't it a great little thing? Because I was obviously losing quite a bit of space when I took... It, um, before the room was it had an L bit there so I'm losing all of that surface area um, but this is kind of made up for it I'm really pleased with it so there's my A6 cards but as you know a lot of the cards are made to order so I don't print that many because if they need to have words printed inside there's nothing I can do once they're already cut here's my new lady she hasn't got a name yet she's a bit of a beast I call her Xerox at the minute and unfortunately she has to be connected by this Ethernet cable, which goes two rooms away into the back of the router. I have ordered the Wi-Fi thing, another 63 quid, but hopefully that'll be coming today. And then this here is the art cupboard. Now I'm going to open it, but it's absolutely crazy. Any, any artists among you, you're very welcome to uh, ask me any questions if you want to look at more closely at things. Now, because again, because I've had to move things around, everything's piled in there. A lot of that, not a lot, but quite a bit of that stuff was inside, underneath like a, a um, shelving unit that was underneath the old table that was here. But now I'm having to use that for this storage, which again is my card. So I have them, some of these are ones to pack. That I've got printed professionally. And, this is, and these are my very professional labels, so I know which card to pick out. And they're on these brilliant, brilliant trolley things. The same as the printer. Th that printer is 12 stone, so I'm not, I don't know what that is in new money. Um, so it's not the sort of thing I'm going to be carrying around all the time. So the trolleys are really handy. That's my photography setup, which I'll show you another day. And then a couple more Kallaxes here with art books, more of the thank you bookmarks, my sewing machine with some bits and pieces, more stock and loads of inspiration magazines, sculpture magazines, books and things like that. And then more packing materials. Again, that's all a bit bumpy. And, then, <laughs> and this here is, um, what do you call it? Skirting. 
that we haven't put on yet. We just put the cupboards in front. So that's kind of it, a very short, small uh, tour of the studio. If you want to look at anything in more or um, detail, if you want any information about anything, I'm really, really happy to share, you know. Collaboration over competition, we're all here. There's enough customers for all of us and we all suit different markets and different flavours of people. So I'm really up for sharing and helping. Okay, so I've popped on a ring light because the lighting in here is so bad and all it does is reflect <laughs> my glasses. Look, little make it like <laughs> So that, I don't know if that's going to work. I need to do a reflective coating on my glasses. Anyway, I was just going to pop on quickly and show you. Can you see the cutie cutie caddies? This is a new washi tape I've just sent off. What the noggin? What did I do? Come on. Right, so I'm just supposed to be moving it, moving it about. Look, that's my new kitty cat washi tape. So, oh dear, stop it. So I sent off for that um, yesterday or, oh, no, my, oh, I can't remember, Friday or Saturday. So, uh, okay, some of you may know the cat, the cup cards. Let me see if I can find them. I should have been more organised. I can't find them. Maybe I've got the stickers here. Oh, I can't even find the stickers. Look, here's the little cups. How cute are they? In a oh, stop it, Kula Bula. In a washi tape, though. How adorable is that? Can you imagine that on your Christmas parcels? And your, like, you know, um, obviously planners and... Um, close up <laughs> and stuff like that but um you know i was thinking kind of especially on uh christmas post you know like on your on your um christmas cards and stuff like that and then this one is it says happy christmas post jingle bells ho, ho, ho. oh i don't know i can't do this backwards it's really crazy maybe i'll get better at it believe in the magic you get the gist? Really happy with that one. Well, I'm happy. I don't know what I did now. <laughs> this is the last one. I'm really excited about it. And actually, I just did this one for me. But I'm sure you guys will want one as well. Or you... You might like it too. The different rainbows. And so today I'm going to be designing a, a sticker pack to match those. Because, um, oh, they're just so lush. The, the, the pastel colours, they're just so lovely. But I am waiting on a new ink cartridge for my Canon Pixmark. I did have a bit of a panic because it said it's the first time it's needed new inks. Um, because with new equipment, it takes me ages to get, get used to them and to um, be brave enough to have a go at them. I don't know if anybody else does this. So they don't kind of just sit there. I mean, sometimes people even... Um, some of my family like, are you going to open that? Are you going to look at that? Sometimes it'll just sit on the side for a week because I'm too nervous about opening it and trying it and getting it wrong. So I just leave it there, just looking at it, stroking it occasionally. Um, so I didn't use it that much. And then it said it needed some new inks. And I was like, no, because obviously with the Lexmark, uh, my laser printer and this new laser printer, it's £200 an ink. So it's something I really need to plan for. And because I've just bought that huge printer, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Turns out they're £15 each. So I was very excited. <laughs> And I bought a couple, you know, two different colours. I get through yellow a lot because obviously I use that for my branding. So I'm just waiting for those to come. And then I can do some printing of the stickers because I found that printing the stickers, the matte ones on there, so beautiful. The quality is so good. It leaves a kind of velvety finish on them, like it does on my prints. Um, so I need to wait for that to come. I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow. But then I'm going to print the stickers to match that rainbow washi tape and then they'll be everywhere. So I've just joined Skillshare so that I can learn how to actually put this video together and get it onto YouTube. No. I'm watching this little Irish guy here. It's very helpful. This whole vlog will just be me drinking tea, that's all it'll be. Um, so I'm filming this on what is probably going to be nearer the end of the vlog because I've just realised I haven't actually introduced myself. <laughs> Didn't really tell you anything 
about who I am or what I do or why I'm even doing this. Well, I kind of told you why I'm doing it, but hmm. so yeah. So um, my name is Kula, Kula Shine. I'm a um, trained fine art, fine artist, and I've been self-employed for nearly my whole life. I did work for about eighteen months, maybe two years of paid work outside of the home, uh, and I just couldn't hack it because. Because now I'm I'm autistic, mostly because I'm autistic actually. Um, I just find it really really hard. So I, I worked in paediatrics for a while because I'm a qualified nursery nurse, because I love babies, which is how comes I end up having four, and now I have seven grandchildren, which is just extraordinary and very wonderful. Um, and I also work doing activities in a in a uh, old people's home. <clears throat> I think in America it's elderly care facility or something like that. But um, so that was a very short stint as well. Oh, and I, and I did work in a nursery as well, managing a nursery actually for about six months. But anyway, um, basically, my grandparents very wonderfully uh, showed me lots of making when I was very small. For um, I used to go there a lot of weekends when I was a child and there was always making and papers and things like that around. And then my parents the same. So I worked with my parents for a very long time from after my child, first child was born in 1988, like, you know, just after the dinosaurs. Um, and that's kind of when my self-employed artistic journey began. So I worked with my parents then kind of taking turns doing craft fairs and looking after the kids and more craft fairs and more looking after the kids are, you know, we used to share it between us. Um, up and down the country, stuff like that. I used to make all sorts of things, but I've made cards the entire time. So 30 plus years now I've been making cards. And um, obviously a lot of them at that time were hand painted, etc. It's just not a practical thing. You just can't do that now. Um, you can't ask for that sort of money with places like Card Factory popping up all over the place. I had to compete by printing and producing my own like that. But I love, love stationery. It's it's one of my first loves. I'm a big collector of things anyway, so I always had stuff around, different pockets of collections, like a lot of autistic people do. Um, but other crafters and other makers will totally get this, you know. Why have one pair of scissors when you can have 12? And you need that, you need that thing. But obviously, as the meme goes, we've realised now that collecting art materials and craft materials and actually using them and making things out of them are two different hobbies completely. And I think both are very valid and uh, hold a dear place in my heart. So, um, yes, card making, stationery, connecting, that way of, of uh, I mean, I love paper. And even in my fine art, I'll use a lot of mediums, different mediums, papers, pen, pens, um, and concrete and clay and inks, etc. You know, I love the process. I love making. Uh, I love getting my hands dirty. And you know what I love most? It's that feeling that you get when you're making, when you're really in the process and your mind kind of, you know, kind of just you go it's like those shower thoughts they talk about you know it, it, your mind goes into a place of um calm and you're just really focused on what you're doing and you're in in with the vibration of creativity um i think it's a very natural state of being for human beings and it's a state that we're not often in with our so busy doings making is a different type of doing i think creativity the same as gardening I think is like meditation in action, that kind of thing. So um, it really is the thing that keeps me sane. That and looking for the positives actively all the time, every day, whenever energy allows it, is really what keeps me going. So there you are, that's me. I will um, pop in some little still pictures, still images of the sort of products I produce now, what my business is about now. Uh, and the vlog is really to kind of connect with other makers to showcase what I'm doing. Um, so I've got some sort of diary as to <laughs> what the noggin I've been up to. Can you imagine if I'd have been doing this 30 years ago? It would have been amazing. Like videos, 
that you couldn't do it on your phone 30 years ago. Blimey, did we even have mobile phones 30 years ago? Oh gosh, I don't even know. Anyway, I've probably wobbled too long and you've probably left already, but if you're still here, thank you very much. And uh... Okay, so lastly, I'm really aware that this vlog is minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes of just me talking. You just be seeing my big face in front of the camera and it's just that. So um, next time, I really hope to have more of process of me working on stuff, of seeing the day-to-day -day of the business etc i mean this has been the day-to-day -day, but it's me talking about it rather than showing you but hopefully by next time i'll have maybe a tripod and some other skills <laughs> that i've learned somehow <laughs> during this month so that i can actually show you um more views from different angles not just my face talking at the camera anyway i would really love to know in the comments if there's anything you would uh, like to see or hear about um, if there's anything you've enjoyed, anything you didn't enjoy so much, um, open for any of that. Uh, I'd love to know. And um, yeah, look forward to chatting with you soon, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're right here, like I said in that clip just now, if you're here to the end, wowzers. Um, you've been amazing. I've really enjoyed sharing the time with you and um, take care. I'll see you soon. Have a beautiful week.